Welcome to Destination Everywhere, where Mandy, Orlando, and doing nothing to help in the back seat is Abraham, our great Pyrenees. We're painting a canvas of Kansas, the Sunflower State, part two, and taking you inside the frame to the very center of the United States between Nebraska and Oklahoma. In this video, we focus on these six towns, and you'll see that Kansas is more than fields of gold, Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz, and tornadoes. Move over, Abraham. Looks like we've got a full tour today. First stop, Selena, and probably the most famous tourist attraction here is the Steve Fawcett Plaza. In 2005, this guy, Steve Fawcett, flew single-handedly all around the world, and it took him three days. And he went from here, Selena, Kansas, to London, to Paris, to Rome, to Cairo, to Manama, to Karachi, to Calcutta, to Shanghai, Tokyo, to Honolulu, and Los Angeles, and back to Selena in three days. Whew. Kansas loves murals on buildings, and in downtown Selena, a grain elevator depicts local children playing. Surprisingly, it was created by an Australian artist, Guido Van Helten. And from grain elevators to grain itself, well, burgers that is, and thank goodness for our road food book guiding us to the best eats like the Cozy Inn. It opened in 1922 as a hamburger stand serving sliders with onions and is now one of the last remaining six stall diners in America. USA Today hailed it as the best burger joint in Kansas. Let's see. And they do tiny little sliders and they're supposed to be one of the top 50 in the country. They're tiny bellies. They're very oniony, so let's see. Mm. Mm. Wow. And you get four. They're so oniony. My goodness, I'm getting the message. And after a light lunch, <clears throat> look what was for dinner out of this world Kansas barbecue. It would have been rude not to. When in Kansas, you simply have to have their barbecue. It is the best. It's sweet and delicious and saucy. And you wash it down with ice too. stop is Coronado Heights Castle. Well, it's not really a castle, it's a replica, and it marks the spot where Spanish explorer Senor Coronado from Spain gave up his search for the fabled Seven Cities of Gold. The end of this wild goose chase is now a lovely lookout over the Great Plains of Kansas. It's a quiet, relaxing place on the top of the hill to have a little potter around and maybe have your picnic at the picnic table. It's the best view in town. Come on, Abraham, it's time to go. Ever been to a state park full of mushrooms? This is a five acre park with rocks that all look like mushrooms. This could be a portobello, and this could be a chanterelle, and maybe some button mushrooms or baby bellas over here. It's a pretty walk around the rocks and the wildflowers and worth a little stop to get some fresh prairie air. So we've got one, two, three, about six or seven mushroom rocks to look at. You ready? Stop yawning. Come on, let's go and have a look. I tried to teach Abraham about all the different kinds of mushrooms, but he showed no interest whatsoever. Mum. I'm totally mushroomed out. Can we go back to the car now, please? Are you happy now? I'll wake you up when we get to Wilson. On the crossroads of this tiny town in Kansas, we found this, the world's largest check egg. But why is it here, right in the middle of Kansas? simple, because during the 1870s many Czechoslovakians immigrated to this area and 100 years later Kansas honored the immigrants by declaring Wilson the Czech capital of Kansas. 
Lots of thought went into this 20-foot tall egg, a symbol for life. The color red is for health and happiness, yellow for good fortune, black for respect for the dead, and white for purity. And the eight points on the star signify good luck, the dots for new beginnings, and the daisies for good fortune. We're in Lucas, the art capital of Kansas, and this is called the Garden of Eden. Can't quite figure it out yet, but I'm just about to do the tour. Okay, here's the scoop. Mr. Dinsmore, a Civil War veteran, created all this as a tourist attraction. He made the sculptures and built the house himself, with no door or window the same size. His cement sculptures in the garden are biblical and a bit weird, but here is the kicker. He built himself a mausoleum so people could come and gawk at his mummified corpse and he could still be part of the art when he died. Okay, so this isn't his actual body, but you weren't allowed to take pictures, so we improvised. On Main Street is the Grassroots Art Center, a collaboration of local artists with art made out of metal, clay, bottle tops, glass bottles, kids clothes made out of maps, and it makes you wonder, which is what art is all about anyway. And for some outdoor art, let's go to Bowl Plaza. This is not folk art, but fork art. Brilliant. And this is the award-winning toilet, complete with toilet paper. Anyone need to pee? We've got to see this. I don't know whether this is the art we're supposed to be seeing. I guess it must be. Must be a toilet bowl around here somewhere. Last stop on this road trip is Corker City, home to the world's largest ball of twine, as in ball of string. Except this one weighs 27,000 pounds. Yep, it certainly is a big fat ball of twine. And we're thinking, we drove 1,700 miles from Miami to see this. So thank you to farmer Frank Stober for a bit of quirky in Corker. And that's a wrap for this video. So thank you for letting us share the world with the world. And for more Canvas of Kansas, stay tuned for part three.